Hi everyone, welcome to my video today of this Toyota Tacoma. This is a 1998 extended cab SR5 2.4 liter four cylinder five speed. Uh, there's the sun, the sun came out so you can get a better look at the color on this. Um, thanks for taking a look, thanks for joining me. Subscribe to my channel if uh, you like what you see and you like what I do. Ah, there we go, look at the sun on the truck. Um, this is, in my opinion, this is the right Tacoma. This is what most everybody is after and looks for, being it's an extended cab, so you have a little more room. SR5 trim has a little nicer stuff than the than the norm, than the base, and it's a four-cylinder, so it gets great fuel mileage, and it's a five-speed manual transmission, so the combination of this truck is the propensity to last forever and ever. Uh, I wrote in my ad, these trucks are like the Energizer Bunny, that they basically just never stop going. This truck has 207,000 miles, but that is really nothing compared to several that are out there with four or five, 600,000. There are several for sale right now that have 300, 350,000 miles. So this 200,000 miles on this is really, uh, really just getting broken in, in my opinion. But this is a nice truck. There are a few flaws in the body here. I want to do a little walk around and then I'll kind of take you around and show you that. But I think for the money and for what this is, this is a very nice truck. It's mechanically sound. It runs and drives great. Everything works. The air conditioning works. Uh, air conditioning is nice and cold. It has cruise control that works. It's ready to go and ready to drive. Um, so, you can see the color of the paint now that the sun's out. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, you can see the color of the paint now that the sun's out. And there's some touch-up spots on the hood where there were some larger chips that uh, have been touched up, but they are now touched up and covered with paint so that they won't rust. I had this done, so have the whole truck touched up. Keep it looking nice. Um, there was a little incident. The previous owner had this truck for eight years. So previous owner had it for a long time. Uh, there was a little mailbox incident right here with the bumper where it moved this a little bit and just tweaked this corner a little, a little bit, but really not, not much, not a big deal. Um, just touch up paint spot on the top of the door right there. There's a dent on the rocker here. Uh, not sure what happened. There's a little bit of dent at the bottom of the door. Also right there, you can kind of see it. So again, nothing that really affects it, but it is what it is. Um, toolbox, huge toolbox, really nice diamond plate toolbox. It has a locking system and additional locks here. This is an additional spare tire, plastic bed liner. The bed liner's in great shape. This is an extra spare tire. The original spare tire is still underneath the truck as well. Um, tires are in great shape. The rear bumper really doesn't have, it has the rust here as you can see, but it's not, you know, it's not the worst I've ever seen. It's not rotted out by any means or how some of them can be. Um, the tailgate jam is very clean. There's no rust or anything in there. There's a dent here on the bedside. It isn't obviously affecting anything, but it is a, a decent sized dent here. Um, had a little bit of spots where the paint had cracked, so put some touch up paint on that as well. Certainly not going to affect the way this runs or drives or does what it's supposed to do as a nice little truck, but just pointing it out. And then the only real rust on the body is right here on this rocker. There's some bubbling rust um, uh, right here. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's there. So just uh, showing that. Uh, also had some touch of paint applied to that to try to keep it at bay. So the jam is still very, very clean. Um, tires are in great shape on the truck. Brakes are in great shape as well. It's had uh, ball joints replaced recently in the front. Uh, just had an oil change. Uh, also just had a new muffler installed, so it's nice and quiet. Had some holes in the original muffler, so had the muffler replaced. 
Um, that's all it needed. It, it, it fires right up. It drives great. It runs great. It shifts nicely. You can see the, the nice tread on the tires. Um, so there's that. This uh, liner is a little bit moved from the bumper moving a little bit, but it doesn't affect anything. It doesn't hit the tire or anything like that. So there's that. Um, let's take a look under the hood and then we'll look at the inside, which is in great shape as well. Um, I don't remember if I already said this, but it does have a clean Carfax report. So, uh, like I said, th uh, three total owners, last owner for eight years, and uh, no reported accidents or damage. Even though, obviously, the situation happened with that bumper quarter, which wasn't a big deal, it was actually a mailbox. Uh, so, um, oh, that glare from the sun. Uh, yep, little 2.4 liter four cylinder. It's really clean under here, nice. Everything's where it should be, like it should be. Uh, the this motor, if you don't know, uses a timing chain, so there's no need to worry about ever having to replace the timing belt. If it were a V6, it would have a timing belt. If this four cylinder has a timing chain, so no need to worry about a timing belt. Bottom of the hood is really clean, there's no uh, rust on the bottom of the hood. The original hood, also there's the bin sticker, original fender, original fender over here. So again, even though this little incident happened, this is still the original fender and you can see it's not the So running like it should, just a little I think it's 140 horsepower. It's not a whole lot of horsepower, but it gets the job done and it goes down the road smoothly and with decent power. That's our under the hood. Let's take a look inside. I always like to make videos of me um, driving the car, so I will also make a separate video in classic fashion of my YouTubing um, of me driving this. So take a look for that on my channel. It should be right next to this video. So I'll make a video of me driving on uh, city streets and freeway streets. It drives fantastic. It goes down the road straight and smooth. The steering wheel straight. I mean, there's no, there are no drivability issues, but I like to do it just to kind of demonstrate how it drives. So you can take a look for that. Uh, the glass is clean. There's, there's no uh, stone chips or anything crazy like that. Uh, the roof's clean and nice as well. Um, forgot to point out sliding rear window. <clears throat> And if you like what I do, say so or comment or subscribe to my channel. And if you don't like what I do, then feel free to comment about how I could do things better. Uh, door panel, very clean, very nice. Door jam, nice, original door. Uh, there's no rust on the bottoms of the doors. Door jam, really clean. There's a little bit of damage on the inside of this jam here. You can see where it's moved it a little bit from, from that. But the door opens and closes just fine. Original bin sticker. <clears throat> uh, driver's side seat is very, very nice. Uh, there's an old, what appears to be, cigarette burn right there. Uh, maybe another one right there. Both very small. Don't suspect that those are gonna get any bigger anytime soon. And then, you know, like most cars with 200,000 miles from rubbing, getting in and out, a little bit of an opening here on the backrest, but this is still nice and firm. I mean, I'm 6'1 and 190 pounds and I'm very comfortable sitting in the seat. It's not like it's worn out or, or laying to the side or anything like that. So still in good shape. Uh, same thing here on the armrest. This is the factory console with cup holders. This from elbow has a little bit of wear, but it's still here, still functioning. Uh, nice little storage compartment and it's still solid. So 
I've got uh, rubber mats, carpet mats underneath. The carpeting underneath those is in good shape. Pretty basic on the inside, but there's our exact mileage right now, 207469. It in fact does have a full tank of fuel. Uh, you can see there's no engine lights on or any kind of trouble lights. There never has been. Um, steering wheel, it's in real nice shape. It's not worn or anything weird. It's all perfect. Very nice, very, very nice. There's the factory cruise control, emergency brake. Uh, the original clock does not work. Don't know why, don't know why, but it doesn't work. Uh, most people use their phones nowadays. Uh, emergency brake works fine. Five speed manual, another cup holder. <clears throat> Cigarette lighter, ashtray with another cigarette lighter in it we've got two of them original radio uh ac like i said can't tell every time i say ac somebody else thinks my assistant thinks i'm talking to it uh, ac works great um you can't obviously tell on a video but i'm telling you it's works great it's nice and cold um airbags both front airbags in i think 1995 these trucks only had a single airbag. I think it wasn't until 1996 or seven that they had dual airbags. You can see how nice the dashboard is. Um, rear view mirror is nice and clean. Let me show you the back. I'll also show the headliner. Uh, headliner's clean, nice, all all tight like it should be. Uh, the visors are eh, a little discolored, you know, from age or whatever, and it's a different material than the headliner. But overall, they're tight to the ceiling and still still there and doing their job um, the uh, rear seats you probably already know this but you can stow those buckles up in there as you see uh, these seats of course flip down to make a proper seat for a human being or a child with a three-point seat belt so very easy to flip up and down whether you need the seat or you don't and if you're there's the sliding rear window again and if you're a heavy drinker of hopefully water and soda not alcohol while driving there's another cup holder back here this flips up and uh, makes a there's a little legs underneath that that you can make it stand up to hold additional beverages it's actually probably one of the most beverage equipped trucks or vehicles for how small it is but back seat really nice and clean wing windows on the side, these manually open up for a little air ventilation if you don't want to use the AC. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny how German cars don't give you barely a cup holder that's big enough for a single can of soda, but you've got one, two, three, and then add those two in the back. This thing has five cup holders and there's not even enough seating for five people come to think of it. <laughs> I amuse myself sometimes on my videos coming to these sort of conclusions, SR5. Um, it's, it's just funny, funny about the cup holders. Uh, passenger side seat, this one, when you flip this up, it slides forward quickly to allow people to get into the back, uh, which is where they're supposed to enter from. That's why I had to manually slide the driver's side seat forward. Uh, this seat, great shape. Uh, Nothing negative to say over here, obviously. Usually the, the little fuzzball. The driver's side seat always gets the most wear, but this seat's very, very nice. Uh, same here, rubber mat, carpet mat, clean carpeting overall. <clears throat> clean door panel, clean door. Original door here too. the inside under the hood the outside uh, the front two windows are also lightly tinted you may have noticed kind of nice the way it was done that's aftermarket tint but it matches the the rear quite well so looks nice helps keep some sun out um, I think take another couple walks around here but I think that's everything I wanted to say needed to say it really is 
excuse me, it really is a nice, a nice little truck that certainly has a whole lot of life left and, uh, you know, does well, drives well, shifts easy and nicely. Uh, certainly has a nice size bed for how small it is. So, I would highly recommend. <laughs> Everyone knows the propensity of Hondas and Toyotas to last and run forever, but this truly is no exception. You know, these trucks, if you don't know, go take a look or a Google search. I mean, they really do have the reputation of just about like the Energizer Bunny of of just going and going and going forever and ever and ever. Um, also might meant to point out that there is the original uh, on the frame rail right there as well. Um, yeah, they, they, they go, 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 and uh, minimal maintenance, you know? That's the beauty of most Japanese cars, and especially ones that have proven their worth, like these trucks, that you can take care of it and it'll truly go forever and you can almost not take care of it and it will still go just might not go forever <laughs> and I mean the people that completely neglect stuff but truly minimal maintenance low cost of ownership great fuel mileage you know can't go wrong if you need a nice little truck on something like this especially with the cost of brand new trucks so stay tuned uh, like I said look for the other video of me driving this uh, fine little gem and uh, we'll make that one here in a moment. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your watching. Appreciate your views. Appreciate your subscriptions or any comments you'd like to leave. Have a great day. Bye-bye.